Hey guys, welcome back. This is week 25 of Project Life. Uh, this week I am going to use a whole bunch of stuff from the Citrus Twist shop. Uh, these are all July releases. Um, I know the August releases. Can you believe August already? Uh, are just around the corner, so I wanted to have one last little play with these July pieces. Uh, I am starting off with the uh, July journal cards. I printed out a few of those. I wasn't really sure which ones I was going to use, so I've got a few left over. Uh, but I've kind of left... Um, I've kind of just used the kind of more neutral ones. So there's a lot of kind of journal looking cards. Um, when I say journal cards, I mean like ledger journal kind of looking cards. There's some wood grain, some craft, uh, just that kind of neutral. So that my photos and some of the embellishments that I'm going to use this week just pop a little bit more. So never fear, there's still going to be a bunch of color. Um, I'm just offsetting that with a little bit more of the neutrals. Now, in total contrast to that, I did use one of these really bright floral patterns from the uh, Pink Fresh Studios Happy Bloom 6x6 floral paper pad. Um, I really loved the... Um, the pattern on that it looked kind of vintage sheet to me uh, which worked perfectly with my a new mug from Alice so um, I picked that out it's only in a three by four spot um, but that is going into a four by six pocket so I've left it at uh, four by six and I'm just going to adhere my other three by four photo on top of that it's going to stop it flapping around in the pocket um, I don't want to lose anything in there so I'm just going to use that as a base card it's kind of a shame to cover up all that pattern, but it's going to work best. Uh, I'm going through two different packs of ephemera from that Happy Blooms collection. One of them is the floral ephemera, and I picked out three kind of floral clusters. Like I said, I want to add a little bit of color to these neutrals, and I'm going to do it with the florals because they are so pretty. Uh, I also grabbed out just the cardstock ephemera. Uh, and I'm picking out a few kind of, I don't know what you want to call them, like phrase bannery kind of labels like that. Uh, I end up picking three, again with my rules of three there. Uh, and I'm going to add some stamping to that. But I did just go through the whole rest of the pack. There's so much in there, as you can see. Um, I've certainly used a bit more since I filmed this particular layout. Um, and I still have a stack left. So there is heaps in there. Uh, and despite it being kind of a gardeny, summery kind of themed pack. It worked nicely for this kind of really general project life uh, spread as well. Now my plan this week is to do a whole lot of journaling on that empty 4x6 card, uh, which means that this card here is just going to be a filler card. I have not made a kind of plain filler card in a really long time and I just felt like doing it there was no need to add extra journaling to this spread I didn't have any other photos that I wanted to add so I'm just going to make this little filler card it's kind of relating to the photo on the right of it um, and so I guess I'm treating it like a four by six despite it being in two three by four slots so I started off with that digital printable it's kind of a vintage looking uh, Kodak kind of film design really like it it's pretty subtle but it just gives it a little bit of sort of background texture uh, I did adhere down one of those florals it's just a really small one I just used some scrapbook.com smart glue for that and then I am using this yes phrase that is from the hello sunshine phrase sticker pack um, it's the prettiest kind of lavendery pink color I really liked it it matched my kitty mug uh, so I'm gonna pop that in there I don't think that that's um I didn't line up the sheet to make sure that it's in exact alignment to how it's supposed to be because what I wanted to do was leave enough room to be able to fit this um, curved arrow in here. It says happiness right here and it was perfect because it was pointing directly at the mug so it meant to be that one. Uh, just a little filler card. It just worked nicely with that photo and I love how it turned out to be honest. So I'm going to do my journaling just straight through my typewriter. I did just draw a real rough outline with a pencil to make sure I wasn't going to journal underneath where I want this little floral piece to go. It's very handy. It's covering up the sentiment that's on the card that didn't exactly match the theme of my journaling. So I've covered that up with a floral. There's kind of a little printed 
I guess, sellotape, washi tape behind there. So it adds to the cluster in its own. Uh, and I just, like I said, put that directly through my typewriter and it, um, it actually behaved itself for once. So I've got some neat looking journaling and I'm very pleased with it. What I am going to do though is add another sentiment back in since I covered the one up. I'm using the True Life V2 stamps. So many sentiments on here. There was so many to choose from. Um, I just chose the word embrace because it was it was one of those weeks that was just a little bit stressful. Uh, my anxiety was just super, super high. Um, and I personally know that when it's like that, there's nothing I can do to fight it. I just have to kind of roll with it and uh, let that episode pass. So the embrace sentiment was perfect for that as was this little crazy day sentiment. Uh, this was the craziest day of the week. I took very few photos this week. I did remember at the end of this crazy day to snap a photo in the car. Don't worry, I was not driving. I had a dog on my lap, in fact. Um, and so I've stamped that many, many times. That just, to me, kind of emphasizes the crazy dayness of it. Uh, and I did use my Brilliance uh, Moonlight White ink on there directly on my photo. I print at home. I'm doing the same thing here with the Tuxedo Black Memento ink. Um, I print at home on Canon Photo Glossy 2 paper, which means that stamping directly onto the photo is not a problem. Um, I just have to be careful not to rip those stamps off too quickly. Uh, so this one here, this photo, <laughs> tried to get creative with my photography, took it through my sewing machine towards the aftermath of my live stream with my patrons. Uh, and so I stacked a couple of those stamps together and then just added one of those pink fresh uh, ephemera pieces, called that a cluster, called it done. I'm doing the same thing here. Very simple. It's a digital card. I added the photo onto the wood grain and then I joined the wood grain to the white piece at the bottom of the card just with another one of those uh, phrase pieces. Now I got really lucky here and there was like kind of a little Polaroid frame piece in that ephemera pack. And it actually fit my photo perfectly. So I didn't have to resize anything. I didn't even have to trim the photo down. I just added it over the top. And it really does kind of help because that background pattern is a little bit on the busier side. So having a photo on there with the frame, it just really helps to kind of help that photo stand out from the background. Last thing to do this week is to finish up my title card. I'm basically keeping this really simple. I'm sticking down this floral cluster. All the hard work's done, I don't have to do anything. Um, all of these clusters I have stuck off the edge of the card and then just trimmed those edges and I find that it really helps to kind of, it just makes it look a little bit less, I don't know the right term, I guess stuck on, like it makes it feel a bit more like a purposeful design uh, when it is just just slightly off the edge and then trimmed down a little bit. The rest of my title card is going to be super simple. I'm just going to use my favorite little foam alphas again, uh, but I do want a label and I've just restocked my little label jar. I just digitally print some labels, trim them all out so that they're ready for ready to go on such occasions as this. And I kind of wanted to tuck it like into the floral. It just, it wasn't quite tucking enough to look purposeful. So I did peel this back a bit and that smart glue really does dry quite quickly um, as you can see so it's already quite stuck down. I just trimmed into the leaf a little bit so that I could tuck that label down just enough so that the leaf covers the printed line again just to make it look a bit less stuck on uh, and then I'm going to use the label as a shelf for my title as well. I'm going to use two different colors of alphas um, for this just because I want to add a little bit more color in there. I love the, I guess the kind of royally purpley sort of blues in there. And I did have that color alpha. Um, it just, I felt like it would have been a little bit much to do the whole title. So instead I've done the word week in black. I'm going to add my week number in blue. And then all I have left to do is a date stamp. And that is it for this week's spread. Um, I really enjoyed using those kind of more neutral journaling cards as a base for some of those brighter pops of color. Those Happy Bloom collections really are making me smile and I love how this layout came together. 
Thank you so much for watching today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, I'm going to leave a couple of videos on screen for you. Otherwise, I'll see you again really soon. Bye.